Hi friends, Mickey Mancus here and welcome to Out the Back Door. Today I'm going to be making pecan turtles, so come along. You want six ounces of pecan halves and you are going to arrange them on a tray. Use either parchment paper or a silicone uh, liner and we're putting them in a direction like little turtle legs would be. So once we have these all laid out, we're going to get going on our caramel. All right, for the caramel, you want 12 ounces of caramels. And you would unwrap those, put them in a double boiler, or put them in the microwave. It happens to be I've got some caramel that I had canned, and I'm going to um, melt that down instead. All right, I'm going to add a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. And I've got this over the double boiler. I've got it on a medium heat right now. And I'm just going to cook this until everything becomes melted and liquefied. Okay, our caramel is all melted down and I am going to start spooning it onto our little turtles. And I'm just going to drizzle this in the center. And once I see that I've got enough on all of them and I've got extra caramel left over, I'll go back and um, add a little bit more. Okay, I've got the caramel on all our little turtle legs. And while this is setting up, now we'll work on our chocolate. We need one cup of chocolate chips. I'm using semi-sweet. All I had were um, the little itty bitty ones right now, but I'm gonna put this in the microwave for about one minute Check it to see how well it's melted. Stir it up a little bit and continue if necessary. And then we'll get to the next step. All right, my chocolate is all melted. And now we are going to start topping it on the caramel. All right, we've got our chocolate on top of our little turtles, and I'm gonna set these aside so that they can set up, and then I'll show you the end result. Well, look at our cute little turtles. They're all set up and ready to go, so we get to eat them. But um, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, give me a thumbs up, and if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'd really like to hear from you. So until next time, you have a wonderful day. God bless.